What's up folks, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna learn how to use Gemini 1.5 Pro with Deep Research to produce really detailed research reports. So Google released uh, this capability on Gemini where you can produce highly detailed research reports uh, performed out of like uh, some dozens, sometimes hundreds of websites. And uh, the really cool thing is that you can uh, export that to a Google Doc and then edit the final results so that you can take a look, inspect, change, etc. So I generated the first example here, folks, for you to see. And as you can see, it did generate a pretty cool research report. I asked it to generate a research report about the recent tools released from the major AI providers focusing on feature, purpose, functionality, and capability. And after a few minutes, it did generate this amazing report. And then I can also click here on open in docs and it will create a Google doc, which then I can open. And as you can see here, folks, you can, we can take a look at the report that was generated. So it's pretty awesome. Major AI providers in the recent tools. So it's saying Google, Alibaba Cloud, AI 12, open AI. All right, so it's kind of interesting uh, who this, uh, this tool considered to be a major AI provider. So in this case, it was Google, Midjourney, Fireflies, OpenAI, AI, AI 12, A12, Alibaba Cloud, Google Cloud. And, um, but the research report itself is pretty impressive, showing the capability, showing the offerings from these different providers, and then showing the, the work cited here at the bottom, which I really love. It's one of the, my favorite things. However, there's a lot of stuff missing in this report that I would have liked to see. So. Let's learn how to do generate such reports. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this prompt that I created here. I'm gonna create a new chat. I here on the left, I selected 1.5 Pro with Deep Research. And now I'm gonna write, write me a research board by the recent AI tools released. And instead of saying from the major providers, I'm gonna say from um, Google, uh, OpenAI, uh, Meta, Anthropic, uh, perplexity. Um, let's see, let me see, let me see. Which other one do I want to see? Uh, open source. And then I'm, I want a, a feature that's just, just the open source in general. I mean, Meta is open source, but the models released by Meta are usually open source, but the company is obviously not. <laughs> Uh, it's it's uh, private. So uh, I think these five is fine. All right, folks, these are like five fine just to generate the report. And I want to focus on feature, purpose, functionality, and capability. So let's submit. So now what's going to happen is the first thing the model is going to do is generate a detailed plan on what should be done to execute this report. So there we go. And we can inspect that plan. So it's going to write a report focusing on each of these providers for each find the following info, features, purpose, functionality, capability, compare, contrast, analyze, speculate, then analyze results, create a report. I could have added the plan if I wanted to, but I don't want to. I'm just going to start this research. And now it's going to take a few minutes, folks. And uh, what happens is you're going to, we're going to see here on this canvas, the, all the sources being used to generate the report. We can take a look and inspect. And on the left, we're gonna see a little loading bar in a circle here showing uh, the progress of our research report. This usually take, uh, takes about two to, to five minutes, depending on how many sources are being used and so on. So I'm gonna skip to the part where the actual report is generated. All right, folks, so as you can see here, uh, we've finished with the research report and it generated a pretty cool research report with table of contents, introduction, and then it goes on on each provider. So I'm really excited to take a look at this. So we can inspect it here on this canvas or we can click on open in docs, which was one of my favorite things about this because now since it integrates with Google Docs, I can just open in docs. And there you go, folks. We can take a look at the report here in Google Docs and it's pretty neat. So we can take a look at everything that was generated. So introduction, uh, Google, several tools, Gemini, Music FX, uh, and then Gemini. Gemini really had a bunch of really powerful uh, releases with 1.5 Pro and uh, Gemini 2.0. Still under development, generate a bunch of stuff. You can do a bunch of things. Awesome to open out with Sora, and that's very cool. So 01, Meta. I, I didn't even know about this one, Meta Motivo. Let's actually take a look at this controlling virtual body. That's pretty interesting. 
Let's see. Meta Motivo. Meta release model to enhance metaverse experience called Motivo. Ah, that's pretty cool. And then Seal and Tropic. Yeah, there's, uh, there's, there's a bunch of interesting things. I like how it not only generates uh, um, the, the text itself, but also generates these uh, boxes with organized content inside. I'm missing the sources on this Google Doc. The previous one that I generated had the Google Docs, had the sources. So if I go down here, I have all the sources that were used to generate this report, but those are not in the actual report. So it is a bunch of websites indeed. As you can see, there's like a bunch of resources that were used. All right, so let's do a different example here where I try to do something a little bit more focused. So imagine I might have, uh, I might be interested on a topic like research of interesting uh, trends in AI research from the past three months. So from the past three months. So that means, uh, meaning from October, let's see, October, November, December. Yeah. So uh, from October, 2024 to December until today, December 5th, using uh, only um, archive papers as resource, as the sources. All right, so let's see what we get. So I'm saying research interesting trends in AI research from the past three months, meaning from October 2024 until December 15th. So it generated the detailed plan. It looks good to me. So we're gonna start research and the model is going to start doing some research on the latest stuff that came out from the past three months. And hopefully it's going to be accurate regarding um, uh, both the sources and the dates of the papers mentioned. I mean, even if it doesn't get everything perfect, because it's a research report, it's not something that has like uh, a lot of stakes and a lot of risks associated with it. It's, uh, it's a quite powerful, quite powerful approach. So as you can see, I already looked at quite a few papers from December 2024th, apparently. And we're going to wait it out a little bit until, um, and I'm going to skip to the part where it generates all the, um, it, until it finishes the report. All right, folks, so we've finished with this uh, trends research report on what's going on in AI in the last three months. And we're going to take a look at the report. It's looking pretty good at this initial uh, visualization here in the box in, inside Gemini, but I'm going to open in Google Docs. So it's going to create the document. And now we can open it. And there we go, folks. Uh, it's looking pretty good. I know that the model did not use only a archive research papers, which kind of annoys me a little bit. So you can't really say, look, I just want you to use this type of source, but I guess there are other ways that you could uh, use to enforce that. What I really like about it is that not only it exports this research report organized in Google Docs, but there we go. We get the work cited here and all the sources so that we can uh, double check and inspect what's going on. And uh, so you, you can see the compilation of recent papers, between October 1st and December 5th, analysis of titles and abstracts, identification of highly cited papers, that's pretty cool. Uh, focus on topping AI labs, analysis of conference papers, that's very nice, and then a synthesis of the trends. So this is a really cool, uh, this, this is a really cool organization of everything that went on recently. And this is one of my favorite things to do with this type of um, model, right? Because now in Google Docs, I can come over here, I can download it as a PDF. And now there you go, like I have a, a reading uh, material for the week where I can take a look at this and think about, okay, so this is interesting, that is interesting, etc., etc. right? So I really like this stuff. And I really do think it kind of highlights um, 
the power of this type of approach. I've used different approaches before. I've written code to do research reports that are similar to this stuff using frameworks like LangChain, LangGraph, and things like that. And uh, there's some interesting stuff coming out of a framework called Lama Index about document workflows that I definitely want to check out. But yeah, I, this is one of my favorite releases by Google. And uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you next time. Cheers.